What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. This video is about disc brakes. In this video, you will learn what is disc brake, how disc brake works and different types of disc brake. So without spending much time, let's start now. Brake is one of the most important part of the car. It is something that helps your vehicle to stop in a given amount of time to avoid the accidents. In a nutshell, we can say brake is something that converts one form of energy into another. That is, it converts the rotational energy of the wheel into heat energy and for this, it uses friction. There are different categories of the brake. Here, I will be discussing about the disc brake. As the name implies, disc brake have a circular shaped plate or disc or rotor onto which the disc brake parts are mounted. A conventional disc brake system consists of brake disc, two friction pads and a brake caliper. In a disc brake system, the friction pads apply the grip on the external surface of the disc to perform the braking. This gripping force by the friction pads can be actuated mechanically, hydraulically, pneumatically or electromagnetically against the both sides of the disc. In this video, I will be covering details about the hydraulic disc brakes. So how actually hydraulic disc brake works? So hydraulic brake works on the principle of Pascal law, which states that the external pressure applied to an enclosed incompressible fluid is transmitted uniformly throughout the volume of the liquid. In simple words, we can say, suppose we have a simple hydraulic press with the piston area of A1 on one side and A2 on the other side, where A2 is greater than A1. Now, if the force of F1 is applied at piston 1, it will lead to the change in pressure at piston 1 given by delta P equals to F1 by A1. Now, according to Pascal law, this change in pressure will transmitted uniformly throughout the volume of the liquid and we will get the same change in pressure delta P at piston 2. So, delta P is equals to F2 by A2 which gives us F2 equals to F1 multiplied by A2 divided by A1. This tells us that we can apply the small force of F1 at point 1 and we will get the large force F2 at point 2. If we overlap this with the hydraulic brake system, then point 1 will be the pedal side, point 2 will be the wheel or brake side and the fluid flowing here is called the brake fluid. Now let's implement this Pascal law on hydraulic disc brake and see how actually they are working. So here you can see we are having a disc brake assembly. This assembly is called the floating caliper hydraulic disc brake. Why it is called floating caliper, I will tell you as we move ahead in this video. The disc brake assembly consists of three major component, that is disc or rotor, brake hose and a brake caliper. A disc brake rotor is basically a circular shaped disc that is mounted to the wheel hub which is connected to the wheel of the vehicle. So rotor is the component onto which the friction pads apply the force and due to friction it stops rotating. As the rotor is connected to the wheel via wheel hub, hence if the rotor stops rotating due to friction, it will stop the rotation of the wheel. The disc brake rotor are generally made up of cast iron and in some cases they are made up of composite such as reinforced carbon-carbon or ceramic matrix composite. As friction is used for stopping the rotation, a large amount of heat energy is produced at disc rotor which is dissipated using these vent holes. Now, the second component is the brake caliper. The brake caliper is the housing for piston and brake pads and it uses brake fluid to actuate the brake pads. The brake caliper assembly consists of inner and outer shim which are used to reduce the noise and vibration and act as a barrier between the brake pad and caliper. In front of shims, brake pads are attached which are composed of steel backing plate on one side and a thick layer of friction material on the another side. Now, this blue component is the caliper bracket which is the stationary component and it is used to mount the caliper to the knuckle using nuts and bolt. These are the slider pin and this is the piston assembly consisting of piston, piston seal and dust cart. And last is the caliper frame which is the housing for the piston and this is the component that slides on the slider pin. The caliper generally have two holes, one for the entry of the brake fluid which is called the inlet valve and second is called the bleeder valve which is used to remove the trapped air from the brake fluid inside the brake caliper and also from the brake hoses. The third component is the banjo fitting and brake hoses. These are the component which are used to transfer the pressurized fluid into the caliper frame for pushing the piston. Before moving forward on working of hydraulic disc brake, one important point to note here is this blue bracket which is called the caliper bracket is stationary and mounted on the knuckle and this red part which is called the caliper frame is free to slide over the fixed range on the slider pins. As here, this caliper frame is able to slide or float on the slider pins. This type of caliper is called the floating caliper and the assembly is called the floating caliper hydraulic disc brake. Now you know all the components of hydraulic disc brake and we can move forward to learn how whole assembly work together to stop your vehicle. 
When you press the brake pedal, the pressurized brake fluid travels from the master cylinder via brake hoses and gets inside the caliper frame. This pressurized fluid pushes the piston which squeezes the inner brake pad with the disc rotor. Now, as the inner brake pad touches the disc rotor, the fluid back pressure starts acting on the inner wall of the caliper frame and it pushes the caliper frame backward, which basically pushes the outer brake pad attached to it to the disc rotor. You will understand this more clearly from this view. Here you can see, as soon as the inner brake pad touches the disc rotor, the fluid back pressure starts acting on the inner wall of the caliper frame and pushes the caliper frame backward, which will make the outer brake pad to touch the disc rotor. And as soon as both of the brake pad touches the disc rotor, the rotor stops rotating and your vehicle stops. One more important point to note in the floating caliper is, we have piston only on one side of caliper. And here you can see, in this caliper, we are having one piston on one side, but we can have multiple piston on one side of the caliper. Now let's understand the other type of hydraulic disc brake, which is the fixed caliper hydraulic disc brake. As the name implies, here the caliper is fixed, that is, it does not float or slide like the earlier floating caliper disc brake. Here we have pistons on both sides of the caliper, and also there can be single piston on each side or multiple piston on each side. All the components of the fixed caliper are almost same as the floating caliper, and the only difference is we are having pistons on both sides in the fixed caliper, and the caliper frame has the inside channel for transferring the fluid from one side of the caliper to the other side of the caliper. Now I will be directly explaining you the working of fixed caliper hydraulic disc brake. So as you press the brake pedal, the master cylinder transfers the pressurized fluid from the brake hoses inside the caliper assembly. Now this pressurized fluid pushes the brake pads on one side and travels to the other side through this channel and pushes the piston of other side, which basically pushes the brake pads of other side. So as soon as both of the brake pad touches the disc rotor, the rotor stops rotating and your vehicle stops. So now you know the working of both fixed and floating caliper and you should know that both are used in different situation and have some advantages and disadvantages. The number of parts in the floating caliper are less, so they are less expensive and the number of parts in the fixed caliper are more and also they are having the complex structure, so they are more expensive. Floating calipers are easier to bleed as compared to the fixed caliper. The fixed caliper apply more even pressure on both sides of disc rotor as compared to the floating caliper. Also, fixed caliper are stiffer than floating caliper and has better life and durability. Floating calipers are generally used in passenger cars and the fixed caliper are used in the luxury cars and high performance vehicle. So this is all about hydraulic disc brake. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment box. If you find the video useful, do like it, share it. Also, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.